Hello and welcome back to the channel and today I'm bringing you this week's Forzathon guide called Neon Alpha. Now really quickly before we get stuck into it I would like to apologise as last week in my video I issued out a quick cross country race to help with the uh, Baja bug Forzathon and unfortunately that didn't actually work so I think that's something that Playground Games have edited but I've taken note of it so for future challenge that in challenges that include races uh, I will be able to sort of figure that all out beforehand and make sure there is an easy race for everyone to use but luckily this week's Forzathon we don't need to do any now this one you need to use a 2019 Porsche 911 Carrera S to complete all of the challenges with. Now this is the car in question so it will set you back 105,000 credits from the auto show or you can pick it up from the auction house if you want or win it in a wheel spin. Now I have created a tune for this one as it will help along with the challenges. So the tune is called 277 mile an hour and the share code for it is 1653050. So if you want to download the tune for this, that's the code you'll need. I've also created a small simple vinyl if anyone wants to use it or a paint scheme if you will. Uh, the share code for that one is on your screen now as well. So that one is 822240577 just if anyone wants to use that as well. Now the first challenge wants you to basically earn 9 stars from speed traps. So you can use the same speed trap over and over again which is what I do here. Now I use the drag strip speed trap at the main Horizon Festival. The reason being obviously this car can hit 277 mile an hour. So for a speed trap that wants 205 mile an hour for 3 stars it's very very easy. And the best thing about it is once you get to the end of doing one run turn back and just do it from the opposite direction and you'll easily get 3 stars stars on all runs now this car is a little bit squirmish it's got 1400 brake horsepower but after a while you get used to it and it's very easy to control after that and like i said with this top speed you'll smash this challenge in a matter of minutes now the next one again is super easy and it just wants you to take a photo of the porsche simple as that so once you've done your speed trap challenge press up on the d-pad and then press the right bumper to take a quick snapshot and that's the second challenge complete simple as that now the final one here just wants you to do a 15 mile drive in your porsche so as i've always said for these sort of challenges i recommend using the highway the reason being is you can just stay at a higher top speed and just smash out those miles really really quickly one thing to remember as well is that the odometers on the cars do actually work so they will track your mileage now even though it says it wants you to do 15 miles this odometer is in kilometers so the golden number here is 24.4 kilometers and basically just saves you pressing the start menu and checking in the festival playlist how far you've progressed with this challenge it's probably easier just to have it in cockpit view and just watch the mileage go up so all in all very very easy forzathon again i would like to apologize for the cross country event from last week's challenge i will make sure that i sort of create longer races in the, in the next uh, forzathon that involves races whether it be a circuit or a sprint although it didn't specify last week which is what was really weird um and turn 10 never mentioned that they changed anything which was a little bit frustrating but hey ho we're here now um and a couple of people did comment uh, a, a sort of couple of races so i forwarded that anyway folks i want to say a massive thank you for all of the support you've been giving me hopefully this helped you out if you're struggling with anything let me know down below in the comments i'm always happy to help but apart from that folks i want to wish you all the best stay safe don't forget to subscribe and all the best